The traditional idea of aging, which most of you are probably familiar with, it's what could be called the long, slow rot. This is the idea that our physical skills, our mental skills, they decline over time, and there's absolutely nothing we can do to stop that slide. But not so fast. We've all seen world-class athletes, Kelly Slater and Tom Brady, performing well past any reasonable expectation. Slater, arguably the greatest surfer of all time, is winning competitions in his 50s. Seven-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady, he's still beating players half his age. But what about the rest of us? Cutting-edge discoveries in fields like embodied cognition, flow science, and network neuroscience have revolutionized how we think about peak performance aging. On paper, these discoveries should allow older athletes to progress in supposedly impossible physical activities. To see if theory would work in practice, I conducted my own ass on the line experiment in applied neuroscience and later in life skill acquisition. Tried to see if the old dog could learn some new tricks. Essentially, took all these ideas, blended them together, and used them to see if I could teach myself how to park ski in my 50s. For those who are unfamiliar, park skiing is the discipline in skiing that involves doing tricks off jumps and on rails and boxes. If you saw the Olympics, think Eileen Gu, only this time with gray hair. Park skiing is an incredibly acrobatic pursuit. It involves flipping and spinning and other forms of mid-air contortion. It also involves long falls from tall heights. And for all these reasons, plus a half dozen other biological factors, learning to park ski is considered a young person's game. If you're over 30, it's extremely difficult. If you're over 50, well, no one over 50, no one in their right mind, that is, would even consider it. And this brings us to the point. I wrote a new book. It's called Nar Country, Growing Old, Stang Rad. It's a book about peak performance aging. It's a book about what it looks like when an ordinary person uses the tools of peak performance and peak performance aging to attack a seriously hard challenge in the second half of their life. NAR is action sports slang for gnarly. Gnarly is defined as any environment, any situation that is high in perceived risk and high in actual risk. Country is any territory or landscape, fictitious or real. Thus, NAR country is both a great description of our later years high in perceived risk, high in actual risk, and the gritty mindset that's needed to thrive during those years. NAR Country chronicles my somewhat radical, often hilarious experiment in peak performance aging. It's a book about goals and grit and progression. You can think of it as an antidote for the weariness. By the time you're finished reading NAR Country, you're gonna know how to do some stuff. You'll leverage the science of peak performance aging to make the second half of your life maybe the most thrilling and accomplished period overall. You'll also learn how to tap into the superpowers of aging, creativity, new levels of intelligence and abstract reasoning, perhaps most importantly, empathy and wisdom. Let me put it differently. If you think you've done enough, if you're just fine with long days of safe, secure, mediocre, and average, then our country probably isn't for you. But if you've ever asked what if, yeah, in our country, it's probably for you. The book was a blast to write. It was even more fun to research. Hope you love it.